Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel today. I want to do an unboxing video of the new um, wearable breast pump that I just ordered. Um, this is the Mom Cozy S12 Pro. This is the box and actually um, since I'm doing, you know, one hand holding the camera, one hand are going to take things out. So I went ahead and took everything out. Let's see. Let's first of all um, open the box. That's what it looks like. And then uh, we flip it over. Here it tells you what's in the box. And let's take a look. So we have um, two. This is the actual pump and looks like it is the 24 millimeter flange and then in this little box it comes with looks like additional valve because it does have one over here and this actually looks like the nursing bra clip and this is the charging cable a storage bag for your pump and then um, a six ounce breast milk storage bag. I think there are eight of those. And then it also comes with the nipple measurement tool, um, which is, is handy to have if you don't know, you know, what size of French you will need. And then has uh, based on the based on the nipple diameter measurement, it has the recommended flange size. This is basically um, instructions how to put it together, and this is the user guide. On the other of these, I think I believe this is. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, nursing bra clip that I failed to take it out. And the valve, the charging cable, also it came with two um, cleaning brushes. So, looks pretty neat. And this is the other one that looks exactly the same. Um, yeah. I can't wait to try it and see how it works because both Willow and LV are very expensive. I think they both run about like $560. Well, these, I think with my um, baby registry completion discount, they were about like $130, which is much more affordable than either of uh, LVO Willow. So we will see how it works. I have been using the Mom Cozy Wearable Breast Pump S12 Pro for two weeks now, and so far I'm really pleased with them. I have another set that's covered by my insurance, uh, which I picked the Spectre S12 Plus. That's the pink one. That's battery is not chargeable. So every time when you use it, you have to stay close to um, an outlet so you can plug in. But I have for these two weeks, the last two weeks, I've been using this this Mom Cozy wearable breast pumps exclusively, and um, I'm really pleased with how they work. Originally, um, the plan was for me to use the wearable pump and the traditional pump, you know, so you, because what most people say is wearable pumps don't empty your breast as well as the traditional pumps like a, like the Spectre S2 Plus. But my experience is um, these wearable breast pumps work really well um here let's see 
what I did. I pumped like for 30 minutes, which I believe most of the breast pumps will automatically shut off after 30 minutes. So this is what I got out of my left breast. This is right. What you can see there is, it's like a, you can, you can barely see over here. It's hard, it's hard to see. That's one of the things. But there's a mark. This shows 120 millimeter. This is 180. I don't know. It's hard to see. And the same with over here. It shows 120. So we're going to see. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to empty those to the bottle so you can see like how much milk that I got out in 30 minutes. And um, here is my timeline. Like uh, this is after two weeks. I feel that's what wor works for me. So what I basically did is um, I have this little heart, which you will see uh, when you turn the breast pump on, means like a stimulation, I believe. So I did five minutes stimulation, and then this. Um, this job, you know, it's like a water job. That means um, expression, I believe. So there's the stimulation mode and um, expression. And then when you see the heart in the job, that means like a mixed, mo mixed mode. So basically what I did was like I did five minutes stimulation and then I turned, I did six minutes um level one mixed stimulation and um, expression. Then I did another, then I increased the level to two and did another six minutes. Then I um, pause for five minutes. So you see rest five minutes. Then I restart, not restart, because it's basically you push a pause button and then you put, then you push any button to uh, resume. So I did another four minutes of level one mixed mode and another four minutes uh, level two mixed mode, a total of 30 minutes. So here is the the timeline. So at five minutes, which um, this breast pump, you know, it has this it has a screen when you wear it, like you can push any of the buttons that it will show you like a how, how, like the time you've been um, pumping, the time will be showing here. And then this is like you can you can switch from the three different modes. Like I said, the heart is uh, stimulation and then expression and then mix. So if you press this button, it will show you which mode you are in at over here and also the level. And then the plus and minus sign is basically you can um, increase or decrease the level. Then this is the power button. So if you push it once, it will pause. And then once it's in pause mode, the t the time the timer will still be um, running. And then whenever you're ready to resume, you push any one of these three buttons. Then uh, it will resume, and then you can, you know, you can adjust the level. But anyway, this is the um, schedule that works for me. So usually, I wait when the time shows five minutes, and I um, push push this button over here and change it to the mix mode. And when it when the time shows eleven minutes, I increase the mix mode uh, to the next level. So from one to two, then when it shows um, twenty two minutes, I push the pause button. No, seventy minutes is when I push the pause button, and then when it at twenty two minutes is when I um, push any button to resume. Then. Um, then I go back, like usually since, you know, I ended with level two, so I have to push the minus sign to um, decrease to level one. And then at 22 um, 
at 26 minutes, I increase it to two, and then it will it will pump for another four minutes. Then it will automatically um, shut off. And in the afternoon, so this is my morning schedule. Like when I, I you know, I work, like I do this probably twice. And then this is my afternoon schedule. Like I do it once. So when I'm gone, like a, at work, I, I pump three times. And this is my afternoon schedule. So basically, this is a total of 30 minutes. This is a total of uh, 25 minutes. So I do 15 minutes and rest five minutes and then do another five minutes. So basically, I still do five minutes stimulation. And then the next five minutes, level one mixed. The next uh, five minutes is level two. Then rest for five minutes. And then um, five minutes for level two. So this is what I would turn like a 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. And of course, uh, at the 25 minute mark, you have to push, um, like press the power button so it will turn off because otherwise it will just go until it reaches the 30 minute mark. But we will see like how much when I pull out to the bottles, it will, you can see it better how much milk I got out. Okay, so now I'm going to empty this is the motor for the breast pump. So what you do is you just use some force and now you have it. And that's the, that's what you're going to pour the milk out. So let's see. Let me unscrew this bottle. And I have some paper towel laid over here. So you see over here. And... Let's see how much milk we got out. Okay, so we have right here four ounce of one hundred twenty millimeters. This is from uh, my left breast pump. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to empty uh, the other one. So all you do is just Take it off, and there we go. So it looks like I got 110 from, but it's a little bit more. Well, looks like I actually got the exact amount from both breasts, which is very unusual. So at work, you know, it's, it's impractical that after every pump that you wash your um, milk collector and, you know, that's your flange and everything. What um, the... Lactation consultant suggests me doing is, you know, you wrap this and put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge. Then next time when you do it, I like to wrap it in paper towel uh, and then put it in a Ziploc bag. Then I stick it in my uh, lunch bag. So here is the uh, spectra. Let's see, I think it's S2 Plus. Yeah, that's the pink one. So this and this backpack come with 
uh, the insurance covered breast pump. But I think I do have to pay like a, this is a bundle, maybe $30. And um, here is the backpack. So it has like a insulated bag where you can put bottles in. So this fit, you know, well, like the bottles. And I guess you can alternatively, when you go out, and you can store milk. It has three little pockets that's insulated here. So then, uh, then you have two side pockets that you can put, you know, your water bottle. And this is the main <coughs> pocket, which um, I have some paper towel over here. And, um, Milk, milk storage bags. So more milk storage bags. This is like a a poncho that you know if you pump at work because it's kind of bulky. You can cover yourself with this for more privacy. So I just stick it, it in over here. Normally I put the two um, pumping motor on the side pocket over here, and then over here. I have, these are like my uh, vitamins that I've been taking and uh, I've also been using the nipple cream which is great and here I have some um, pads like if you have to prevent leaking so this pocket is not very deep it's down over here, and you can see this uh, netted zipper. So if you flip to the back, here is where I normally um, put like the milk collector. So that's where I will put it in the fridge, and then I'll stick it in the insulated bag together with any milk. Like if I got any milk here. I stick it over here and then I I put the whole thing in the fridge. Then by the time I'm ready to come home, I put the whole thing in this component so it will keep it um, cool. On my way home. Um, Anyway, that's a little trick that you don't have to wash your breast pump every time you use it. And then by the end of the day, I will wash it and sterilize it with um, baby bottles and pac pacifiers. Okay, so now, um, you know, I'm going to disassemble the breast pump. And I usually do that by the end. At the end of the day, when I'm done with everything, um, so here's your flange. So I just disassemble it and going to wash it with Soak it, and you can soak it with. So I'm just going to let it soak with some soap, and you know whatever you have, you know, maybe pasties or baby bottles. You can wash them together and then run it through the sterilizer. Mm -hmm.